the Dolphin Morning News. Today is Friday, October 8, 2021. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. We will now pause for a brief moment of quiet reflection. During the moment of quiet reflection, please reflect on what it means to follow Rule 3. Listen and wait my turn. Your lunch choices today are classic cheese pizza slice, crispy cod nuggets with mac and cheese, mac and cheese or ginger pack. Your side choices are carrot, cucumber, cherry tomato, and steamed broccoli. Well, last year we collected about 30 items um, in our coat drive, and that was coats and winter accessories. But our coat drive last year was while you all were in virtual school, so it was a virtual coat drive, so we didn't collect quite as many as normal. In a usual year, we collect anywhere from 70 to 80 winter coats and accessories. Um, do you have a goal of how many coats to get this year? Yes, this year the PTA's goal is to collect 75 coats and winter accessories in our coat drive. Where can students drop off the coats? So this year we're going to have Ben's by grade level out in the front lobby at the Jones Bridge Road entrance um, at the front of the school. There will be uh, grade level Ben's labeled pre-K and kindergarten. We're going to do those two together. Then there will be a first grade, second grade, third, fourth, and fifth grade Ben. We just ask that students um, put their coats and winter accessories in their grades bed so that we can have a little fun competition between the grade levels and see which one can collect the most coats. Is there a specific size of coats you need? So we would like coats and accessories from anywhere from infant to adult um, sizes. We really need coats for kids and teenagers though. We're also collecting winter accessories, so winter hats, scarves, mittens, gloves, and even socks. They can be new or uh, gently used, but if they're used, we just ask that they're clean and ready for people to wear. How long are you accepting coats? We will be accepting coats from Monday, October 18th until Friday, October 22nd. Who are the coats going to be donated to? So the Dolvin PTA partners with North Bolton Community Charities um, and we collect coats for them. Um, they then distribute the coats to North Bolton community to North Bolton families, so local uh, families in our area. Is there anything else we need to know about the coat drive? Well, during COVID, um, a lot of families have experienced some financial distress and North Bolton Community Charities has told us that they had a 60% increase in requests for coats and other donations over the past year. So it's really, really important for our Dolvin families and students to help us donate a lot of coats to North Bolton Community Charities so that we can help serve our local community. Thank you.
Thank you, Miss Brady, for coming to talk to all this week. Thank you. Remember to bring our new socks for it's October. Also, don't come to school on Monday and Tuesday, students. Monday is Columbus Day and Tuesday is Teacher Work Day. That's it for the morning news today, Dolphins. Have a fabulous Friday. Bye.